Aemir and his army of Rohirrim riders advance. Rowan is on the defense of Middle-earth and Aemir will not allow the invasion of the servants of Sauron. The time of the riders of Rowan has come. The goblin hordes of the Misty Mountains have invaded, you need to destroy them. A horde of scattered Misty Mountain Goblin units have invaded the lands of Rowan. 10,000 goblins spread like an infection across the territories of Rowan. Five thousand Rohirrim riders will catch up and kill everyone. For long days, the riders of Aomer trampled goblins across all the lands of Rowan, eradicating this infection. The goblins fled in terror, and those who were destined to take the fight fell dead from the onslaught of the riders of Rowan. Aomer and his valiant horsemen drove the goblins all the way to the mountains, 8,000 goblins fell from the cavalry onslaught of the Rohirrim horsemen. No more than 100 horsemen fell from among the fighters of Rowan. The goblins were defeated and the riders returned to Vestfold, while the elves of Lorien went to the aid of Theoden in Helm's Deep. However, their path was blocked by the armies of Isengard and Dunlending. 1,500 elves of Lorien took the fight. Uruk High of Isengard were the first to hit the army of Lorien. The elves have not many chances to repulse the attack and survive in this battle. Over 5,000 Uruk High and about 5,000 Dunlending men attacked the elves' defensive positions, and a brutal carnage ensued. Aemir brings reinforcements to the elves, the riders of the Rohirrim will crush the uruk of Isengard and the men of Dunland and save the elves from destruction. Not much yet, and I'm afraid the elves would be waiting for death. The riders of the Rohirrim quickly get to the unfolding slaughter and join the battle. Aomer, having rounded the enemy's army, led the strike to the rear. The riders all as one rushed after the Aomer and staged a deadly onslaught in the rear of the uruk and people of Dunland. The elves are saved. The riders of the row here easily deal with the foot units of Isengard and Dunland, after a while the enemy loses morale and the enemy army begins to flee. About 500 elves died, no more than 200 fighters fell from the Aomer riders, Isengard and Dunland lost 7000 out of 10,000 in this battle. The riders of the Rohirrim came to the aid of the Battle of Helm's Deep in time. After their victory, they make their way to the stronghold of Gonda, east of the borders of Rowan.
The fortress of Gonda was defended by no more than 3,000 people, while the enemy brought almost 10,000 orcs of Dol Guldur and Mordor, as well as dozens of Olok Pai. his Rohirrim cavalry make it right in time for the assault. The leader of the Rohan cavalry decides to go around the fortress from two sides and stab the armies of Mordor and Dol Guldur in the back. The riders of Rohan take the orcs by surprise, the Rohirrim divided the army of Mordor and Dol Guldur at the crossing, thanks to which the enemy could not make up for the losses and replenish the main forces. The onslaught of the orcs weakened, and the fighters of Gondor calmly began to knock out the hordes of the enemy that had previously broken into the fortress. The riders of Rohan meanwhile mowed down the orcs outside the wall. The Orc leader, seeing the impossibility of reinforcing the main army with units from the reserve, begins to slowly withdraw the defeated units from the battle. Aemir decides to chase and drives the Orcs all the way to Anduin, where as a result the Orcs are swept away by the current. The riders lost about 400 fighters, while the Orcs lost their entire army. After the victory, Aemir, having replenished the army with fresh forces, is sent to the east. Dorwinian asks for help, but along the way, he is met by an army of Variags. The army of the Variags consisted mainly of cavalry, 7,000 horsemen, of which about 3,000 were heavy shock cavalry. Also in the Varangian army there was infantry, numbering 3,000. The strongest snowstorm in the steppe hid the army of the Varangians from the gaze of the horsemen of Rowan. The Varangians will strike swiftly, the Amua was not ready for this battle. 